I feel like there are two kinds of moms in the world. The ones that are like, no glitter in my house ever, like glitter equals jail. And then there are the moms that are like, the more glitter, the better. I'm gonna be one of those moms that's like, the more glitter, the better. <laughs> Hey Dynamos, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. This video is for you if you feel like dressing 1970s inspired really shows off your true self. Here's why you can trust me and know that I actually know what I'm talking about and I'm gonna give you the best tips if this is the style you wanna achieve. My name is Emily Stevens. I'm currently 19 years old. I dress inspired by the 1970s fashion trends of that decade. I don't wanna say that I'm like bringing them back or I am the trend because they have their own place. I'm just here existing in 2022. Doing my thing but those trends are the ones that speak to me the most over the current trends that we have as a society and i have learned so much about how to dress in that style where to find clothes all that information that i'm so excited to share with you right now if you need more evidence as to if i know what i'm talking about you can follow my instagram and tiktok because you will see a lot of fun outfits that i love wearing and inspiration we're getting right into it the first thing that is really going to help you narrow down what you're shopping for what you want is a color palette if you have a color palette you can determine what kind of clothes and colors that you want to put in your closet and you know that all of those clothes are going to be cohesive with each other because they're all in the same color palette. The 1970s are typically associated with warm tones like rust, orange, yellow, dark jewel tones, reds, browns, greens. So I'll put some examples of color palettes that I feel like really represent that vibe if you're looking to go more straight 1970s. Hey, I'm editing this and I realized I only talked about one kind of color palette. This is an example of a Mamma Mia color palette. Lots of different shades of blue with a hot pink and some neutrals. And then this is my color palette. This is what I base my wardrobe off of and just my overall vibe. Don't hear me say this and be like, oh no, I got something out of my color palette. Like color palettes are meant to be a guide. They're meant to help you along or give you a starting point so that you know what you're looking for. Because let's face it, walking into a thrift store or department store, or if you're online shopping, you're not gonna know what the heck to buy. But if you have kind of a list of colors that all go with each other, you can find clothes in those colors and then you have a starting point. Let's Let's talk about clothing essentials. These are the things you need to write down. Turtlenecks. Fun fact about me, in high school, I used to be very anti-turtleneck. Now, granted, I have grown up in Florida, so there never really was a big draw for me to want to wear them. One of my friends got a turtleneck and I remember making fun of him for it, which is hilarious because now half of my wardrobe is turtlenecks. Turtlenecks are amazing because they kind of elongate your torso. A lot of what I'm gonna be talking about, for reference, I'm 5'1", I'm a tiny little gal. One thing I've noticed in 1970 trends is a lot of it is about elongating your body kind of giving an illusion of length rather than like shortening it for example low-rise jeans versus high-waisted if you wear high-waisted you're gonna look a little bit taller than if you wear low-rise jeans but turtlenecks are amazing because if you look back at images of girls from the 1970s turtlenecks were very popular obviously they would be in states that are colder I have this shirt that I get so many questions on and it's a white ribbed bell sleeve turtleneck I'm gonna get into sleeves later don't worry I will link a shirt similar to the one that I thrifted for you, but you cannot go wrong if you have a neutral turtleneck because then you can layer this with other colors and other pieces and it will give you that total 70s vibe. Also, let's say just like me, you grew up in a very warm climate so you didn't really have a need for turtlenecks. I recommend cotton tees with stripes, more on that later. Also halter tops, big 70s trend, really cute. I love that those can be found in swimsuits as well. They're so flattering. Boots, specifically platform boots. Now, if you are a tall dynamo queen and you're not into platforms, don't worry about this. But if you're short like me, I like only wear platform shoes. It's a serious issue, I think. I cannot wear a shoe if it's not platform, but I recommend the white Chelsea boot platform shoes from Doc Martens. I got these like literally knockoffs. They're not even real docs that I have. They go with every Every single one of my outfits. I recommend white shoes also just because at least with me my wardrobe is tends to be very colorful and a white shoe really neutralizes the whole outfit and ties it all together but those are the boots I recommend if you are looking for a shoe that is comfortable looks really good with your outfit and brings it all together and is platform so it'll give you a little bit of that height. More shoes that I think would complement these outfits really well would be brown platform heels high top converse, and of course, go-go boots. Okay, let's talk about pants. Cause this is huge in dressing in this style. Everything should be high-waisted and you're gonna look for bell bottom or wide leg jeans. Absolutely no skinny jeans 
skinny jeans equals jail. You want pants that elongate your body. Like I said, they should all be high-waisted. I feel like low-waisted is more of a trend for the 2000s, even though obviously people wore low-waisted jeans in the 70s. High-waisted is just the way to go. Trust me on that. If your organs aren't sucked into all different places when you put them on, you're doing it wrong. I'm gonna come out with another video about how to shop for bell bottoms if you're a short queen because it's been a journey trying to find those if you're 5'1 because those pants are more made for taller taller dynamos. The free people float on flare bell bottoms. Th that's what I would start with. I've had amazing luck with those being short. And if you're tall, you'll have amazing luck with them as well. Fabric is super comfortable, but it also kind of stretches with your body and it has that perfect flare. So I recommend those pants. I can link some for you below in the ones that I have. Wide leg jeans, Rolla sailor jeans. That's the vibe you're going to want to look for. Something that is tight up top here in your waist area and then goes straight down, but kind of like in a wider format. Whereas skin Skinny jeans will like hug your leg. You want something loose. Those are the pants you absolutely need in your wardrobe. So embarrassed that I forgot to touch on this, but corduroy. That fabric was very popular of this decade and I recommend looking for it in colors like forest green and brown. If you have a corduroy jacket and or corduroy wide leg pants in your closet, you are set. Jumpsuits, okay? Do not underestimate the power of a good jumpsuit. A good denim jumpsuit goes a long way. Again, don't look for something with skinny jeans. It has to have like a wider leg. Jumpsuits are also amazing if you're lazy like me and you just want one piece of clothing or a jumpsuit and then like a top to go underneath, then you don't have to worry about like matching your pants with your shirt or your overalls, like just throw on a jumpsuit and you're set. The jumpsuit that I recommend, you can have like just normal shirts in your closet, but if you wear those shirts with this jumpsuit, immediate 70s, like immediate going to a Volkswagen VW show, like proven. The Eleanor plunging jumpsuit from Urban Outfitters. I recently checked on their website and it says they don't have it right now. I don't know if it's like gone or it's just sold out, but look on secondhand shopping apps. I will link those again for you in the description, but Mercari, and Depop. This advice, I should be charging for this. Stripes, I cannot stress this enough, stripes. If you're thrifting and you're like, I want some more t-shirts that are 70s vibes, look for horizontally striped shirts. Specifically, going back to that color palette, definitely like sunset colors. If you find something in red, orange, yellow. If you find a striped turtleneck, do not let that baby go. Another essential you need is a good belt. Personally, I always forget to look for belts when I'm in the thrift store. I just am looking for everything else and then I'm like, oh, I should look for a belt. So I need to get a lot better at that because a belt really ties your outfit together. I will look for a link for this. I haven't been able to find one, but I thrifted like a peace sign belt. I highly recommend one of these because you could be wearing, again, the most simple outfit. But if you have this peace sign belt, I don't know, it just makes the outfit more groovy and it's amazing. If you're looking for brown leather belts too. I noticed that was a huge trend in the 70s. And I highly recommend the Daisy Dreams, I think it's called. I'll put it on the screen, but it's a daisy belt from the Hippie Shake. Check out the Hippie Shake if you're really into this style and you have saved up a little bit more money for their pieces. They're sustainable. I'm a huge fan of their brand literally one of my dream brands. They sent me this belt that has changed my life. It's changed the game. It's like a daisy and it's white. So you're gonna look for belts that are either brown leather or white. Sequins, glitter. I go to discos a lot and that's one of the key things that I look for when I'm building a disco outfit. And obviously disco was a huge trend of the 1970s. So those are a few essentials I feel strongly will completely change your wardrobe. You don't even have to have all of them. If you have a few, you can build from there. Oh, you're just gonna look so good. I'm so excited. Trend Trends of today are really fun, but if you're dressing just to fit in and be like everyone else, that's that's so lame. Like, I'm gonna tell you right now, the minute I started dressing, what I felt like was me on the inside, my life was changed. And the people I was able to inspire and the friends I started making and the girls that have DM'd me about how they bought their first bell bottoms because of me and they just feel so confident. Like that means the absolute world to me. That's why I make videos like this so that I can inspire you. But anyway, let's get into more important tips. If you're looking to dress more hippie inspired, I highly recommend a maxi skirt or you can wear a dress with a t-shirt over it. Both of those are amazing options and definitely fit the energy of a little hippie at Woodstock. Do not be afraid of a good vest with pants or a skirt. I recently helped my friend Alexis thrift this like brown fringe vest and she wore it with a striped shirt and bell bottoms to a Volkswagen show we went to. We were so excited about that vest because it immediately pulled her entire outfit together. I also highly recommend a fringe vest. It's so fun to like be in them and just like move around. Like I love clothes with movement. I don't really see a lot of people my age wearing vests with outfits, but let me tell you, it definitely changes the game. I wrote flat 
flowers are actually kind of iconic, look for these in clothes. That feels very general to say because certain flower patterns I think wouldn't really allude to the 70s, but if you find something that's like the big daisies, like kind of like this, if you find something with like these kind of flowers, flower power all the way. So definitely look for that kind of stuff. Crochet, honestly, like I am seeing so many people rocking out to crochet no matter what aesthetic they dress in, but I feel like crochet was definitely a staple of the 70s. I'm currently learning to crochet. I made a top. I can link the video for you if you want to learn how to get started with that. It's so much fun. The power you feel when you make your own clothes, unmatched. Flare sleeves, big sleeves. You should be looking for sleeves like this, okay? The bigger, the better. All these things you can put together. Think of them as Legos, okay? I have a younger brother, he loves Legos. He's like 17 now, he still loves them. He won't be watching this video. All of these little outfit ideas are little Legos. And whenever you put them on top of each other, you can build something amazing. Okay, that literally sounded like an ad for Legos. I promise it is. For example, flare shirt, denim jumpsuit, immediate 70s icon. All your friends are asking you where you got your clothes. All your friends are inspired by you because you're finally dressing like yourself. Get the picture? I wrote crop all the tops, I don't make the rules. I don't care how God has made your body, you can rock a crop top. I feel like I either like wearing huge shirts that I'm absolutely swallowed in or like the smallest, tightest top. Like there is no in between. I feel like other people are like that. Let me know. Comment down below. <laughs> I'm not gonna get too heavy into accessories, but gold hoop earrings, can't go wrong with those. White um, mod 60s earrings. I'm here to encourage you to start buying clothes that you can go out and live your best life and make memories in. Not clothes that are cheap, that you're gonna throw away, that are a passing trend. You are a treasure and you should start dressing like one and you should be dressed in treasures because you are so valuable and I hope you know that. That was a lot of me talking. Now it's time for you to get out there, fill your wardrobe with pieces that you feel like make you you. So I really hope this video helped you seriously. Please let me know if it did. If you subscribe, that'd be really cool because I definitely want to come out with more videos for you guys. Don't forget to like look for all the links that I talked about in the description. I'm genuinely so happy that you're here. We're best friends now. I don't know what else you want me to say. Bye, Dynamos.